Hi, my name is Max. I'm a communication skills coach, and what I do on this channel is I look at all different types of people's communication skills, and I give you my thoughts. Here we go. <laughs> I think I think we're gonna go with that one. Guys, we are back for another Harry Styles reaction. My name is Max. If you don't know me by now, I'm a communication skills coach. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 60,000 subscribers by the end of the week. Without further ado, I pulled out a couple clips from Harry's recent Howard Stern interview. And at the end, for my Patreon community, I'm going to check out a couple of his performances on Howard Stern and give you my thoughts on that as well. Okay. Let's get started here. Or are having trouble with, um, you know, being accepted for their sexuality. Mm -hmm. Is that a fair statement, you think? Uh, I'd say, yeah, there's definitely a part of it in there, yeah. And they say that a lot of kids who come to your shows, suddenly, I don't know what it is, they get... This is always something that stands out to me about Harry, something we can take away into our own communication skills. He's always locked in on the person who's speaking. I've said this about Harry before, I think he has the special gift of making people feel really good about themselves. And I think part of that gift stems from his ability to really lock in and be present and listen. What she's doing here with Howard, he really is a fantastic listener. You know, again, in, in a lot of ways, like I, I actually don't think that is as much about me as it maybe seems. I think the atmosphere that I feel is created in the room of the shows that we do is this kind of like free, um, incredibly like emotionally generous uh, atmosphere. It doesn't feel like when Harry speaks, especially here, it's not sounding scripted. You're hearing a couple ums. Um, You're seeing Harry look away. In, in, in a lot of ways, like I, I... As sort of an indication to think about what he wants to say and reflect on his thoughts before he articulates them. And to me, those are all signs of speaking from the heart. From my experience as a public speaker and someone who helps people with their presentation skills especially, is the audiences connect most with people who seem like they're coming from a genuine place, who don't have their speech or their messages scripted beforehand. And, and that's what it always feels like from Harry. It feels like he's just having a conversation with a friend. I feel like when people come and see a show, it's one of the first, you know, two things that people comment on is, you know, I've just never been in an atmosphere like that. It just feels so like safe, it's like a room, it's like a family full of strangers. There's something about him that just kind of makes him feel really down to earth and, and, and humble and genuine. And I do think a big part of that is in his tone. You know, it's his low tone, it's on the quieter side. In an atmosphere like that. There's something about that that's inviting and non-threatening. Yeah, it just contributes to his relatability. It just seems like he's a really down to earth guy in that sense. Like sometimes you'll see a lot of actors and celebrities like really put on the tone. YouTubers too, right? They'll put it on and you know for the cameras and Harry's just got that natural charisma and that natural charm that he doesn't necessarily have to go overboard but the fact that he consciously doesn't um, is something that I really like about him and something that really draws me in, something that's really captivating and something that we can take away by saying hey we can just kind of be our authentic selves without having to put it on. And I think that's kind of relevant to the message that's being talked about here, is that Harry creates this, this space of authenticity, this safer space for his audiences to kind of be free to be themselves. Um, I think that kind of speaks in a weird way to Harry's communication style and the way he presents himself to the world. Like the fans create that atmosphere more so than me. Yeah, but like you're the I lightning can... rod, Harry. I mean, because <laughs> you're willing to go up on stage and dress the way you want to and singing about things that uh, perhaps encourage that freedom. So he's given other people credit. He's kind of downplaying his role as the quote-unquote catalyst for creating that safe space. And, and fair enough. You know, Harry is a humble guy. Although I probably agree more with Howard here. I think Harry is the lightning rod, so to speak, that really does facilitate that that safe space. Oh, I could see a lot of this shit uh, disappearing, some of the freedoms that people have been enjoying. Yeah, I just don't think anyone should be able to make decisions about anyone else's body. It doesn't, it doesn't really make any sense to me. I think there's a level of, obviously, what's happening here in the country at the moment is 
I don't really know where that ends. Like, at the, you know, at that point, is it, you know, someone needs uh, an operation and someone can decide. I really like listening to Harry and I really, like I said before, like listening to him articulate his thoughts in a very natural way. The language that he uses, the tone that he uses, this is the type of stuff that audiences connect with and listen to because we're used to hearing these conversational tones and this conversational language in our everyday lives. I don't really know where that ends. Like, you know, and he just seems to think, you know, quite deeply about these subjects. And even when he's listening to Howard ask these questions, it's like he's taking it in. He's taking it in. You know, if we go back, Howard's finishing asking his question. You see Harry, like, he's really thinking about it. People have been enjoying. Yeah. And he states his opinion, not necessarily in a way that kind of, like, repels you, because he's not, like, being preachy and saying, you know, you have to listen to this. This is the right... He's just stating what he truly believes is the right thing. I really enjoyed this little clip. I think there's a lot of takeaways just in this short little interview. One of them being just, hey, be yourself when you speak, right? You don't have to put it on or get into presentation or public speaking mode. You, know, you can be you and still be captivating and engaging. You know, the more we try to put it on often, the more people have their walls up that are listening to us because they can kind of sense that inauthenticity. Okay, let's watch one more clip of him sharing advice that a friend gave him that keeps him grounded. And then we'll, we'll dive into uh, some of his performances after this. I think one of, my, one of my favorite things that a friend of mine told me was, remember that everything that people say about you isn't true. Whether they say that you are horrific it's not true. And if they tell you that you're the best thing ever, it's not true. First of all, I love this advice. I love where he's going with this. And you can't get caught up in the highs or the lows and the validation from others, whether it's good validation or bad validation, because once you get lost in that trap, in my opinion, you kind of lose your own individual self and, and forget who you are in a sense. It's like, no, you should be the one who determines how you feel about yourself, not others, whether it's positive or negative. But I also like, and this is a small thing, I like how Harry's not relaying this advice as it's, it's his own advice. He's saying specifically, he stated that this is a friend that told me this. A friend once gave me this advice. One of my favorite things that a friend of mine told me was... And I think subtly this contributes to why we like Harry. I think this demonstrates his humility. He really is a humble guy. I think it's these subtle things that reinforce his humility. There's a lot of music I wanna make, things I wanna do, but I don't, I don't wanna make it from a place of trying to kind of prove myself all the time to people that a lot of the time I don't know. So I think, you know, we, we'd say like sometimes before the show, like everything to achieve and nothing to prove doesn't seem like he's trying here. He's not trying to be charming. He just is, naturally. I'm a big Harry fan, if you haven't noticed by now. So guys, if you wanna watch my uncut reaction and analysis, plus my reaction to Harry's performances on Howard Stern, all you need to do is click on my Patreon link below. Other than that, I appreciate you tuning in. I will catch you soon. Peace.